good afternoon. It is, I think like day 93. I did an outro for a day 92, I think yesterday. <laughs> so let's hope that my math is right. But it's somewhere around day 93. And this is just gonna be a little blurb in tomorrow's, um, along with tomorrow's stuff, because today was a bad day for me. I had a fibro day today, so I slept a lot and I was on the couch a lot just with a little bit of body aches, but I have to get up and out of the house and run to Walmart because tomorrow is Raven's MRI and she's not supposed to eat after midnight tonight and then she can only have clear liquids up until 5.30 in the morning. So I'm going out right now to get some Jello and applesauce and she requested Scooby-Doo fruit snacks. Fruit snacks are for tonight. The gel and applesauce will be tomorrow morning at five in the morning. And then she's gonna go back to sleep at 5.30. And then we're gonna get up at seven or 7.30 and have to head out at like quarter to eight to get to the location to get her MRI done. So right now we're gonna go to the store, get her those few snacks. And I'm gonna take a look and see if there's any other of those Thai Peenie Babies or something else that um, I could get for her so that way when we go tomorrow she's maybe a little bit comforted. I found this something different that she doesn't have. It's a unicorn and it's got reverse sequins. I think she'll like it. It's warm shopping in the stores. I was wearing a sweatshirt today though. Um, but I got her her fruit snacks for tonight and then she's got some gogurt and jello and then that cute little unicorn. I think she's gonna appreciate it tomorrow. So I'll probably give it to her in the car on the way so that way she's not as upset about everything. And then she can have it when she's waking up from anesthesia. Good morning, it is 5.20 on Monday morning. I believe it's the 15th, maybe. I don't even know, but it's Monday and I got up at 4.45 and got Raven some Jello and some applesauce and her green tea. So she's been up in her room watching some YouTube and eating her clear liquids that she can have up until 5.30. So in 10 minutes, I'm gonna go upstairs and get everything out and let her just have some quiet time this morning we'll probably head out of the house around 7.30, 7.45 to head down to the hospital for the MRI. You wanna go say goodbye to dad before we get in? No. <laughs> Just go say bye, dad. <laughs> no. No. I wanna get in the car now. You wanna get in the car, huh? What? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Yeah, she didn't want to say goodbye to you. <laughs> what do you think of your little rainbow unicorn buddy? Yay! You want to say goodbye to me? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are on our way now. And we're not always extremely happy about it, but it's about an hour drive, so. We'll see you when we get down there. We made it to the parking garage. We are 25 minutes before check-in time and 55 minutes before MRI time. So we're here early because I'm always worried about being late. But we are gonna need some time to walk and find the main entrance. I gotta use the potty. I have my own little editing workstation to keep my mind occupied while she's under the MRI. We are awake and having a popsicle. Well, we're home and we're gonna go lay down, right? Mm -hmm. And have our burger upstairs. So I did not reveal what the last HelloFresh order contained because I think we were busy that day and then I forgot. The first one is a steak and green pepper quesadilla. We have firecracker meatballs and a chimichurri barramundi. I'm not sure what's gonna be for dinner tonight. I think I might go ahead and do the quesadillas because they're easier and I 
the people will like them except for the green pepper for the kids maybe even kevin we'll see we are going to do the steak and green pepper quesadillas and we have a large green pepper we have our diced steak we have southwest spice blend our flour tortillas a cup of pepper jack and a half a cup of mexican cheese blend we have some red pepper crema and some hot sauce first step is to wash and dry all the produce which is just the green pepper and then we are going to have core and thinly slice the green pepper crosswise into strips we're also going to pat the diced steak dry with paper towels. Second step is we're going to heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium high heat. Add the green pepper and cook, stirring occasionally until slightly softened for three to four minutes. Then we want to add the steak to the pan with the green pepper and season it with the southwest spice, pepper, and a big pinch of salt. Cook that stirring occasionally until the green pepper is tender and steak is browned and cooked through for about two to three minutes. We want to turn off the heat, remove from the pan, and wipe out the pan. Next, we are going to put the tortilla on a clean work surface or cutting board and sprinkle one half of each tortilla with the pepper jack and top with the steak mixture and then sprinkle with the Mexican cheese and fold it in half to create the quesadilla look. Then we're gonna hit heat a drizzle of olive oil in the pan that we use for the steak over medium heat. Add the quesadillas and cook until the tortillas are golden brown and cheese has melted for about three to four minutes per side. And then we slice the quesadilla into three wedges, divide between plates and dollop with the smoky red pepper crema and drizzle with hot sauce to taste. Let's give this a taste. Mm. That crema is very creamy. <laughs> the hot sauce gives a little kick. Kevin's probably gonna want more hot sauce. And then it's got like a fajita kind of taste to it on the inside. That iPad's gonna drive me crazy. This is pretty good. I gave a piece to Chayton to try. He's only eaten the bread. I took most of the green pepper, so. But the meat is good. Peppers aren't too flavorful. I probably should have put some salt and pepper when I was cooking them initially. Could use some more hot sauce, I think. Can't you I had the bones? Why? Because I get doggies. The wolves in here. But yeah. Wolves. Yeah, they become doggies. No, they don't. They become wolves. <laughs> Mommy, I gave you my bone. Oh, thank you. I don't know where it went because I don't have any space. You press Y, press Y, press Y. Hey mom, guess what? If you wait long enough, guess what? You have to press Y. Okay. Just wait long enough and the baby chicken will be coming. Oh, it's there. Okay. Watch out. The baby chicken is becoming a amazing chicken. Pair it. Hey mom, I don't have to make an iron golem farm. We already got the test results back from today's MRI that Raven had and everything in the MRI appeared normal. So her lazy eye is just an optical thing apparently. I'm not sure what we're gonna do other than we are going to try glasses and exercises and see if that helps and follow up with the ophthalmologist in six weeks. So. We'll see what we can do between now and then. I've been up since 4.30 though. Played some games with Raven, just been kind of cleaning up a little bit around the house, but I'm gonna go to sleep so that way I have some more energy for tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Give us a like on the video, share us with your friends on social media, and if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get notified when we have new episodes. Until the next one, we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker.